Hi, welcome to Super User TV. Gentlemen, why don't you, why don't you introduce yourself? So my name is Matt Van Winkle. Uh, I run operations for Rackspace's cloud servers. Uh, my name is Joel Priest. I'm an engineer for the Rackspace Public Cloud. Been there for about four or five years now. Welcome, Matt and Joel. Uh, appreciate you coming on. I want to talk with you. Guys. We want to talk with you guys because you at Rackspace uh, run the largest and the oldest OpenStack Power Public Cloud. Uh, so, what could you tell us? Um, what lessons have you learned having run that uh, large OpenStack Public Cloud? You first. Well, I would say the. The biggest thing we've learned from trying to operate, especially at the scale that, that we're working at, is uh, you just have to be very diligent about your implementation of OpenStack, and really make sure that you're crossing all your T's, dotting your I's, make sure you have everything down, document everything as you go, and especially when, you're, when we're kind of pushing the envelope, envelope as we have, I think the biggest lesson we learned is how to fail fast and recover quickly, get those changes made, work with community, Get, those, get them pushed upstream whenever possible, and just iterate, 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 and just continue to improve. As long as you're adaptable, OpenStack gives you the platform that you need to, to, to build the cloud that you want to build. Yeah, I think I would just add that, um, you know, we, we come to, to things like the Summit and we talk to, to different folks running even large clouds like our own, uh, and they, in some cases, have the luxury of being very aware of the application running on top of their cloud, uh, and therefore, uh, they have ways to deal with failure uh, by redeploying or, or orchestrating around it. Whereas, you know, in our case, we don't know what our customers are using. We know they're there. And so we have to be very focused on how do you minimize impact of any issues, and issues will occur. Uh, so that's probably one of the, the biggest uh, things we've personally learned running a public cloud. Great. And um, t even today, what, what would you say are the biggest challenges you have trying to uh, built, run that cloud, public cloud on OpenStack? Uh, I mean, clearly scale is, is always a challenge. Um, you know, project interaction, uh, especially as you get really large. Uh, you know, we, we constantly have to look at the way Neutron behaves with respect to Nova, uh, and does the change on one side affect behavior on the other? Um, what else would you add? Scale, I would say like a, a a component of scale would definitely be because we're such a large implementation, there's certain changes that come in from upstream uh, that it's just impossible to replicate the rack space scale, or not impossible, it's extremely difficult. And we're doing stuff now to try and improve on that with like the OSIC project and that kind of stuff, and that's definitely helping. And But certain changes come in and uh, they might work great for a, a smaller cloud or, you know, changes come in that maybe don't leverage all of the features that we're using to make our scale work, like cells, for instance. And so we have to be really diligent about uh, taking those changes in from upstream and making sure that they cohabitate with the things that we need to do and, and our actual implementation. So that's that's a big one for us, and just being able to, to test. It's all test, 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 yeah. test, mm. test. Yeah, I think specifically one of the ones I think that's, that surprised us a couple of times is changes to queries uh, in a trunk, trunk pull uh, multiplied by thousands of compute nodes actually generate more network traffic than you would, ex you would normally think about. And so it's typically in weird ways like that that we find these problems. Uh, you know, instead of just the code not working, it's, oh, we're now saturating certain parts of our network because of all this extra traffic being generated by this one query being run thousands of times every minute. Great. Um, so obviously, OpenStack is a very fast, uh, evolving, moving project. What are some things uh, that you see looking at coming down the pipe that you think would be helpful to you as you're running the, the public cloud? Uh, you want to go first? Uh, Cells v2, we're really excited about that. Yes. And we're very excited, uh, especially that it's going to become the part of the default installation of OpenStack that everyone's going to be using Cells. Okay. Uh, one thing that we've noticed, or at least I've noticed personally coming to summits for the last few years, is uh, watching, watching a lot of uh, companies kind of expand their OpenStack footprint, mm -hmm. and they're starting to see like, oh, there, there is a need for this. Like, we, we do need to take these kind of cells and scaling things into consideration, and uh, it's becoming more accepted within the community as a whole. So I'm really excited for those changes. Uh, the scheduler updates, really excited mm -hmm. for some of the stuff going on with uh, the scheduler, and uh, just kind of the continuing refinement of some of the base pieces like Neutron, uh, really excited about 
kind of scheduling as well, like the, the uh, IP availability, yep. being aware yep. of the Neutron, uh, some of the improvements with like on the network side with um, network segments and yep. and all that. Um, those are the big ones for me. But yeah, sell, sell, sells. Yeah, I, you know, outside of the technology changes coming, I, I think the the working model's been really being refined as well with the working groups coming out of the user committee. Uh, and you know, we're both involved in the large deployments team and specifically the the um, segmentation conversation around Neutron was born out of sort of common needs from a lot of large deployers. So for me, I think it's the fact that we're actually seeing users, especially users of large clouds, actually getting engaged and creating change in the process. Uh, and to me, the more that happens, the better off we're going to be as OpenStack continues to go. Great. Well, thank you, Matt and Joe, for joining us. And thank you, everyone, for watching Super Users TV. My pleasure. Thanks.